Hi, I'm Donald Mason and today I'm going to talk to you about what is known as the Lydian Comatic Concept of Tonal Organization. Now this is a theory which was postulated um, by a guy called Joy Russell in 1953 and he published a book then called um, The Lydian Comatic Concept of Tonal Organization the art and science of tonal gravity so you know up till that time people have never associated gravity with music because gravity is normally associated with space you know with physics uh, universe space and time um, but we should know that gravity um, affects everything even sound see so music is sound so what what does the theory say? Well, it says that um, instead of using this typical major minor tonal system which we use in Western music, well, the theory says that um, there are other options. There are other options. Instead of using the C major as what should I say as the, 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 the central point, the main point um, which we could consider using the Lydian scale. Now what is the Lydian scale? The Lydian scale is the scale found on the fourth degree of the major scale which all of us know. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Right. So, but, and this has been used for centuries centuries right but actually um the that that scale shouldn't be the the the, the, the real scale the real scale should be the c lydian scale why because for example if you just one of the proofs right if you look at the the this is what is called the circle of fields the circle of fields so as you take, if you take the circle of fifths, because we know that the circle of fifths is in, is in, is in a graphical, mathematical expression of, of, of sound itself, of the overtone series, you see. So we can change it. But if you, so we, instead of, we should look at what it is trying to say, what music is trying to say about itself. That's what George Russell was trying to say. So for example, if you take the notes on this side, from C, here yeah, at 12 o'clock, to F sharp, and if you put those notes in an alphabetical order, it will give you the C Lydian scale, and not the C Ionian scale. The C Lydian, not the C major, natural major, even though we have been using the C major for centuries. See? And uh, the most important thing of all is to, to understand that this is not an invention of Russell, it's just an observation. He didn't manipulate anything. Um, if you look at the uh, music itself, for example, if you take this F here, right, and then you divide the, cl the clock into two again, and you take the notes on this side, it will give you F Lydian again, and not F Ionian, not F major, which means the Lydian scale is a natural child of the overtone series, right. Now, the, 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 the Ionian scale is also a child, but then if you observe the, the B flat in the case of C is on this side, it's not in the same side. See? So which means if you start if you start with C, you'll come across you when you're playing the the, the, the cycle of it, you come across F sharp before F mature. You see? So and then another thing too, the sound. If you listen to the sound, the, the sounds are different. Um, many people say, and I, I feel that way too, that the linear sounds a lot uh, freer, nicer, more open. Whereas the Ionian sounds like closed, you see. That's why most of the music we hear, they are, it's like they are always the same, always the same, or more of, some, of the same, because uh, if you navigate from the Ionian point of view, you won't know 
what to do you only, you only see this one four five sequence you see uh, but if you start navigating from the linear point you will see lots of ways lots of places to go the linear scale itself consists of 11 scales 7 vertical scales and 4 horizontal scales so just imagine what that means to your plane you have 11 scales to deal with right and in, inside those 11 scales you find the Ionian scale the natural major so the natural major exists but it the natural natural major scale is actually a child of the linear scale so if you take the linear scale you will find the natural major on the on its fourth on its fifth degree if you on the fifth degree of the linear scale if you take it take it there you see that it will give you an ionian scale right so that's um basically what it's about the linear chromatic concept of tonal organization of course it, it's not an it's not it's not an easy concept to understand you see it will take you time you you need time to assimilate everything you know you, as jean piaget said you have to pass through the <laughs> these three stages the um, assimilation you have to assimilate the the, the concept first the court yeah? an open mind humble speed and then as time goes on you will accommodate it the, you know to become comfortable and then finally you'll be able to to create with it feel free improvise compose and use the concept to analyze music See? The musical analysis is so difficult sometimes from the Ionian point of view, you see. So, but from the linear point of view, everything just spreads out. You begin to understand chords, uh, difficult, complicated chords which you have never understood before, no problem. The linear theory, you begin to understand them, you know, and at a, at a very fast pace, actually. See? Because it will help you to understand mm, music, sound, progression. Tonal gravity, right? So at the end of the day, even if you're not you're not thinking, you're not intellectually processing the the musical material, you can use your ear and just keep following the the, the gravity, right? So it's a beautiful concept. Um, as I as I've said, the Lydian scale suggests a greater degree of unity between chords and scales. Right, and it provides different musical landscapes. It offers a new path for adventurous musicians who want to go deeper into music. And uh, the, the linear scale itself is a field of gravity within itself. So there are so many things to say about the linear scale. So what I think. For someone who, who is having a first contact, the most important thing to know is that um, it doesn't contradict with anything, it doesn't contradict with music, classical music, or whatever. It just complements it, helps you to see some other aspects of music which may, maybe you have never seen before. Right? So, anyway. I'll be releasing more videos uh, about the topic and I'll be willing to answer your questions of course. Right? So have a nice adventure with the linear theory. Thanks for now.